Hey guys, this is Hafiz. Today I'm going to show you guys that uh, what you need to look at when you're having an oil change done on your truck. First of all, you need to look at it that if they're changing all the filters and the most important thing is if they're greasing your truck and trailer. So you can go look at the slack adjusters, S-cam, drive shafts. As you can see on my slack adjusters, they didn't grease that and uh, when I asked the guy he told me that I don't have any grease fitting on it and they don't grease that if there's no grease fitting so I was like I have this truck for like few months and nobody told me that I don't have the grease fittings and the guy told me it's the OEM which is original equipment and then uh, we don't need a greasing on that which I don't agree so I decided to do some research on that and uh, I look at the truck next to my truck and uh, observe it. This one? Yeah. How you grease this one? Grease? Yeah, how you do the greasing? From bottom or here? Right here? Yeah. yeah. All right, so as you can see, the other truck have all the grease fittings on the S-cam, slack adjusters, and the drive shafts. And uh, on my truck, I don't have any grease fittings. And uh, the mechanic, they change oil on my truck for so many times, but they never told me that I have no grease fittings. And they always keep lying to me that they grease the truck properly. And I was also uh, not paying attention to that because I trust them and that's my mistake. But uh, if I don't have uh, my S-cam or my uh, slack adjuster grease properly and uh, my drive shaft, the drive shaft can break very easily and then uh, my slack adjuster, they can jam the brakes and uh, uh, my wheels can get locked and it can catch fire. should be in the mirror but there's nothing 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 you should, should be here in the mirror here here whatever but there's nothing nothing happened so i talked to different mechanics and they all have different opinion about the oem and the aftermarket parts it's very easy to add those fittings to those flak adjusters and the s cams uh, you just have to open that uh, bolt from there, from those slack adjusters, and then you match it with the uh, grease fittings. And uh, as you can see, this box you can get it from the Harbor Freight, Fleet Pride, Freightliners, uh, any hardware store, and you match it with the bolt that you took off from that slack adjuster. So what happens if we don't grease it? Oh, it'll rust up and lock up, start having problems. Yeah? Yeah. Those are slack adjusters, right? Yes. Slack adjusters and S-cams. S-cams too. 
So it's not going to cost any damage if it's not on the drive shaft? No. Nope. They're designed to be that way. I asked one guy, he told me it's an OEM, so you don't need to grease it. Right. It's the original equipment. So we don't have to grease it? No. Nope. Not even the slack adjusters? The slack adjusters, yes. Yeah, the slack adjusters and S-cans, we do. Okay. But uh, the drive shaft is a steel unit. You don't have to grease that. So as per this mechanic, we must have to grease the S-cam and slack adjusters that can protect you from brake failure and uh, also you don't need to grease your drive shaft because it's a steel unit and uh, if it's OEM. If it's aftermarket, you must have to grease it. So when you fill up, it come out from the same spot, right? Yeah. Just put it there and put it there. So you can replace those fittings yourself. It's going to cost you only $20 and a half hour labor. And uh, it's so easy. So I would recommend to do that yourself. It's going to save you a lot of money over time and uh, protect you from brake failure. Please subscribe the channel and share the video. Thank you so much.